it is what it is. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Interlude Podcast. Uh, an amazing, amazing show we have for you today. At the top of the show, you heard the band Unwill. The song was YMM. It's an acronym for Your Mirror Man. You can check them out at Unwill uh, if you want to check out the fine local band. Also, their song is about questioning all that is, but having faith in what will be. And boys, talk about a great song for the podcast we have uh, ahead of us uh, before we get into things. Real quick plug, patreon.com slash interloop. Get yourself uh, subscribed to the podcast. Get the full thing earlier than everybody else. Usually get um, get the whole podcast. We're going to do this whole thing today for free. We're going to give it, make it available to everybody because we're just going to be talking about the hottest news story in Rochester this week. Darien Lake reopened, guys. <laughs> we did it. Darien Lake is open. Um, nothing Damn, else. Wait. Nothing else is going on in the city. So we are. I think we actually recovered. For so actually, we're going to end the podcast early. Uh, no. Uh, so the mayor is, uh, you know, having a great week, and her husband has uh, lit Rochester on fire. So uh, I guess we should introduce everybody. My name's Shane. I'll be your host. Joined as always by Michael Cologne, uh, and Chris Thompson is our guest today. Fine inner loop writer. Comedian extraordinaire, refined taste, eater of many things, drinker of um, other things as well. And um, <laughs> very much so. So, I'm guys, gonna I'm going to just start reading off the story and, you know, hit the highlights. And then you guys can feel free to jump in whenever you want to comment on anything. But here we go. The, hus uh, the husband of the mayor, his name is Timothy Granison, uh, 42 years old. Um, this is all from the New York Times, by the way. I'm reading this from the New York Times. We once again have made local or made national news. It's been a few months. <laughs> we had a nice we had a nice roll going on, but here we are again. Um, so yeah, the mayor's husband was arrested on Wednesday. A search warrant was executed um, on their house, which he shares with the mayor. From what I understand, he got pulled over by the police. And they found uh, cocaine on his possession. Um, and it, they didn't really specify in the press conference, uh, you know, where they found the stuff, whether it was the car or the house. I think the house, they said, when they did the search warrant for the mayor's house, that's where they found weapons. Um, at least, I think, one uh, unregistered a handgun and then also a semi-automatic rifle that they're checking on they're like we don't know if it's illegal yet we're we're gonna figure that out you know, it seems like something is pretty easy to figure out but i don't know i don't know no i don't know guns anyways it's not just uh the mayor's husband it was also six other people were arrested this is apparently um they're calling it like a mid-level criminal organization this guy was wrapped up in he did end up pleading not guilty and he's he's out on his own um fruition recogn recognizance i don't i don't know what the legal word is once again i'm dumb um on the mayor's husband they found 31 grams of powdered uh, crack cocaine um and I, I do you guys know how much that is like, uh, it's sellable because to my understanding, it doesn't take more than like the weight of an actual dime to uh, be like considered distributing like and that's like less than a gram. So 31 grams like that's wholesale. Maybe. So, like, I don't know. I, don't know Costco. I guess I'm just like, I'm, ask drugs. I'm asking Costco of cocaine. It's like, I'm just trying to get like a visual comparison. Like, is that that's more than a handful of cocaine, right? Is that two handfuls of uh, cocaine? Sure. I'm not trying to no, implicate no, any of you hard. guys. Uh... <laughs> How much is 31 grams of confectioner sugar? Like, let's figure this out. Like, I, think, I don't think it looks like that much. Like I've seen an eight ball of cocaine before, and it, uh, and it what? Where? And I, Why didn't you invite us? 
And I was like, oh, that's not, I thought it was going to be like the size of a magic eight ball. And it was, it was unimpressive. So I don't know. I'm just trying to 31 grams of, of cocaine. If anybody hit us in the comments, let us know, give us a size comparison. You know, is that like a, a ferret size or is it more of a gerbil? I don't know cocaine. Put that on a shirt. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's like a Ziploc bag of cocaine, but like a sandwich Ziploc bag. A and sandwich it's bag. I feel like we're yeah, not I'm just looking at like the... cocaine as much as we are. <laughs> we're gonna get like bad. I think we can. <laughs> I mean, Buck Cherry did a whole song about it. We're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, and so did Happy Eric Goose. Clapton do a whole thing about cocaine. Like we're they, fine. I mean, everybody has done cocaine and done a song about it, even even if they weren't being specific it's actually, about it. It's actually a <laughs> when you when you do cocaine, you got to sing about it. You have it's to. Like one of the side effects. Yeah, that's how actually I think that they they caught the mayor's husband is he just he was in his car and he was singing really loud about how, how much he loves cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> I love cocaine. Just <laughs> parking um, out the window. <laughs> that's how they got him. You you know you listen to Eric Clapton and they're like, oh, drug you, definitely. That's yeah. That's why that's why parties are so intolerable. You know, like yeah, everybody starts everybody blowing like, coke and starts singing. It's miserable. Cool. So they found a um, semi-automatic <laughs> rifle, an unregistered handgun in the mayor's house. Um, so I took, I, I actually had a Mike. I don't know if I told you this yet. I took down one of our memes because I misread the story um, at the beginning of it when I, cause I was just listening to the press conference. So I thought that this, they had found in the mayor's house, uh, two kilos of crack cocaine uh, what the fuck? <laughs> sixty thousand, which was sixty thousand dollars of it. Three firearms, a semi-automatic rifle, and over a hundred thousand dollars in cash. That's the entirety of this big crackdown. That's what they have taken in in its entirety. I think they they hit up seven different houses. This is a, a seven month long investigation to to get. This this wasn't targeted at the mayor's husband. He just is wrapped up in this, is what they were saying. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The mayor is living at the house that was raided. She was not there at the time. Um, neither was her husband. It was just uh, their daughter was at home alone at the time. Um, it's not. It wasn't. It, and it wasn't like they beat in the doors or anything like that. It wasn't. You know. It was just they. It let themselves in and took out a bunch of evidence and we'll see what happens from there but yeah seven seven houses were involved with this search warrants and all this stuff guys i uh, just uh what are your reactions before we get into because I, I, we have to play uh the mayor's statement and go over that but before that you know what, what did you guys think of what was going on Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not like shocked to be honest with you. I, I guess, well, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe I am a little bit shocked. I mean, I always you're not felt, shocked like, at all. <laughs> yeah, found no, unregistered I mean, no, weapons at the mayor's house. It. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah typical Monday. Corrupt. I'm not shocked she's corrupt, but yeah, I guess the level of corruption is like pretty bad. Like the, the idea that the mayor, I mean, she knows. Like, there's no fucking way she's not a part of it. I mean, it was in her house. It's her husband. Like, no one's going to believe the deniability. Like, her whole denying, oh, I can't believe this is happening under my roof. Like, absolutely was. And you were helping in some way. Which I'm sure we're going to find out in the next couple months with investigation. And people are going to start flipping. Like, it's just they the did, way it works. They, so they, at the press conference, you know, the investigators were asked if she was involved. And they, they said that they couldn't comment at this time uh, and they didn't even you know they were also asked if she was on any of the wiretaps that they did and they said that they can't talk about that either um so yeah i guess we'll see i mean this is going to be an ongoing thing for a while which i'm sure the mayor just loves um <laughs> you know, it's not like she had other things going on as well illegal so Chris, what were your what were your reactions? Because it's like this was like a slow rollout to this story. Because it was like people were 
you know, hitting up Facebook and, and Reddit and everything. And it was like, what the fuck's going on at the mayor's house? And it was like, oh, it's a criminal investigation. And then it took a while for it to get out that, you know, what the hell was going on. Yeah. So um, I don't know anybody who didn't know that the mayor's husband is a drug dealer. Like, I thought that was common knowledge, but whatever. So I knew I knew he was going to go down. Uh, I knew and I did not. Can I? I'll say I didn't know that. <laughs> oh. That's common knowledge. <laughs> okay, so maybe. Um, how do I put this slightly? Maybe more melanated people knew. <laughs> so I mean, I knew I knew he had a record. You know, like I knew that yeah. he was uh, he was the getaway driver for like a jewelry store heist back in the day. Right. But I know that's that's like a that's a cool crime though. Yeah, no like that's like, that's cool. Yeah, that's like <laughs> something that Spider Man would bust up, you know? Yeah, that's like he had a what um what, those minis, like the <laughs> he was yes. in one of those like minis. Wait, <laughs> and wait, way, so selling cocaine isn't cool anymore? Let me just I mean list off the twenty thousand movies about coke dealers that are cool <laughs> as fuck. What are you talking about? Scarface, yeah. of course. No, anything with Johnny Depp. I think uh, I think it's kind yeah. of interesting when they decided to execute these warrants, um, and I'm also not surprised that the mayor's still running for office. So that's just the balls. I'm. I mean, I'm still blown away that it's yeah the it's eight balls. common knowledge. <laughs> the eight balls. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it was not common knowledge to me. That. Oh, like Chris knows oh, everything. My Maybe. But why? I mean, why? Chris knows everything. I mean, I don't know how to put this politely, Chris, but like, why didn't you tell <laughs> us? You know, <laughs> like I know that I'm white, but like, I, I just, I'd like I to know, you know these things. You like, know, I didn't like. There's just some things that I just like. I just assume that everybody knows. Like, you don't put sugar in grits. The mayor's husband's a drug dealer, like this. See, I know none of these things. Oh, we, see, well, Chris, you got to talk to me more. I need to know your secrets. I'll tell all you right. all. I'll tell you everything. All the white people talk about. Hey, Costco, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, mayonnaise, more of it. Can we have of it? That'd be great. Oh, the, no, that's God. that. Those are our secrets. There you go. It's like a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, is there any common knowledge that we should know from your people? <laughs> like, this is, a, <laughs> this is like a. This has become like a model UN. Uh, for my people have nothing to report because okay. they don't consider me their people. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not, yeah, you're not from the Bronx. I'm lost. Got I'm it. lost in the mix. Yeah, I'm not from the Bronx. <laughs> just, yeah, dude, I mean, this whole thing is just wild. Um, I don't know. I guess we should just get into... The mayor's statement about everything says, "Yeah, we're we're talking about her." So I'll um I'll try to pull it up without pulling up any horse related pornography <laughs> that's on <laughs> on Facebook currently. Still there, guys. By the way, still there. All right, that's I'm gonna, so weird. I and am, why did uh, it come up with, like related to that video? I do not know. And I'm I because I'm, we're all getting fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. All so right. if you go on Facebook, there's a horse fucking video. Uh, it's on live right now, so yeah. Yeah, yeah for right. anybody who's listening to That's... this, watching us be fools. Right. We're gonna get to this. This is a Mayor Lovely Warren. She did a statement following the arrest of her husband. Um, let me know if you guys can't hear anything. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me here. Let's ask ourselves why. Many emotions have gone through my head, starting with confusion, anger, betrayal, and hurt. This past year, I faced insurmountable odds. I lost my mom, my mentor and father figure, faced COVID and civil unrest. All right, so right off the bat, we are just kicking off this statement with what was me and you know, I this is the worst year just for me. And I just feel like there's a better way to lead this whole thing off. Like, whoa, right, guys? Oh man, <laughs> what the hell's happening, huh? Not like eh, it's been a real rough year for me. Stub my toe. <laughs> 
COVID happened. Oh man, I couldn't go to any shows at the Darien Lake. It sucked. <laughs> All right, keep on rolling. <laughs> said that this is my job here, having been baptized at the age of 13 and always relying on my faith to carry me through. I made oh tough my God. decisions. All right, so she, in case you missed that, she this said this is her job? Jo her job yeah. year. Did job. she really say she invoked Reference job? the Bible. Okay. That's so this fucking is rough, I'm dude. personally offended by this her. Is, that is so me. rough. This is how you know that God's not real, because if he was or he or she was, I think during the press conference, you know, they'd be like, they'd make an appearance like, listen, I don't know what to fight. I had nothing to do with this. I'm more, I'm more of a weed guy myself. Uh, you know, her job year. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm hot already. It's only been a minute. Yeah. I, I mean, the part of the Bible where Job got busted with cocaine. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, that was bad. one of the trials. Actually, mm -hmm. he turned water into crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a bunch of unregistered like tridents and shit. I remember that. You're thinking of Jesus. He turned water into crack. Mm. All the same. Okay. <laughs> then he then he screamed, "I'm king of the world." <laughs> Keep on going here. Choices Ooh. to beat every obstacle times faith with sickness and near death but god brought me through that leads me here today i woke up with my daughter in my arms she looked at me and said mommy this is not your fault okay well i guess we're done here that's it her her daughter said she didn't do anything so oh. wrap up the investigation boys we're good yeah. <laughs> what a what a nonsense thing to say. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that your daughter thinks that you didn't do anything wrong. That's really lovely. You know, I good thing like you mentioned that. Throwing everybody she knows under the bus. Because now it sounds like she's throwing her husband under the bus and then like invoking her daughter. If her daughter turns on her, I feel like her daughter's next. <laughs> she's like she's just like literally throwing out everything for like sympathy. Like, oh I'm I'm a faith person. Like it's a hard year for me. Here, my daughter. Like it is just like the it's absolutely like disgusting. Like everything she's doing to try to cover her tracks or like I mean, this is like this is politics one on one though, right? You you can't I know, I mean for sure. But you have so to crazy. run as like a family first person that's also a person of faith. Like you can't you can't run for mayor and be like Listen, I'm uh, I'm an atheist and I live alone and I just hook up with a lot of people. Anyways, I got some good ideas. <laughs> like, people won't vote for you. You have to do this bullshit stuff. So, yeah, we'll keep on going. Don't yep. give up. I woke up to the fact that the man that I have signed a separation agreement with many years ago and both of us making a conscious decision in the interest of our child to co-parent together is accused of committing a crime. I woke up to the fact that some people will do anything to try and break me. Okay, so now we are we are gonna get into her conspiracy that it's all politics and everything, but let's just let's just break down that statement real quick that she woke up to this whole thing. So the like she is, I think Mike even mentioned it before. Like she's trying to play this off like she she had no idea. Well, what's yeah. going on? Whoa, what's happening here? <laughs> and okay. and but so here's the thing: if they were separated, what if she snitched on her husband? Mm -hmm. Like maybe, like I don't <laughs> don't quote me on. Well, yeah, quote me on this. It's obviously, but like, what if, like, if they were separated, maybe he was like lapsing on the child care payments or something, and then she was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get this motherfucker, and then it just exploded into this. You think? Oh, so you think this is? Um, she's actually working in cahoots. I mean, she's like in with the cops anyway, so like, why wouldn't she? But like, we're only like a minute into this five <laughs> minute speech, so let's see what else she has to say. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I was just gonna say, either way, this doesn't look good for you and i don't know if saying you don't know that your 
uh, you know, your husband is dealing cocaine and, you know, has unregistered firearms in your house. I don't know if that's any better than saying, than saying, <laughs> you know about it and you just turned a blind eye to it. Like, I yeah. just feel like, I mean, none of this is good. Like, no, none of this is good. Like, but saying you didn't know about this, uh, the, you know, the father of your child is doing this stuff. I feel like it's not a defense. That's just not yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Like, if you're married to somebody, you know they trapped him, like, from the beginning. Like, that's just, like, you can't hide that. Like, you, you know, like, what do you think? That's sugar in the, in, under the bed? Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. But <sighs> if they're separated, I see how she can now, like, you know, say, like, plausible deniability. But, like, he was definitely trapping when they were married or before they were married. This is all like speculation so that we don't get sued, but. Yeah, I mean, I, all of this stuff is alleged and we're, we don't know what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. But, um, so there's, that's the other thing is, I don't know, maybe you guys have more information on this than I do. The, so this was her house, right? That got raided. They both live there, but like I've heard or I've seen that maybe she doesn't live there. Like she just has that house so that she can continue being mayor because you have to have a city residence. I'm not sure about that either. Allegedly, we'll throw. A, we'll just. We should be using the word allegedly a lot more during this, so we don't all get sued. Allegedly, allegedly. Let's all say it together. Alleged. Alleged. There you go. Um, I don't know. I mean, that would be. I mean, and that if she wasn't living there, if they can prove that she like wasn't living there, and that was simply for that, then I mean, she can get out of this. But if she was but, like living there with him, like I don't know. And if she wasn't, that's what she should have led with with this press conference, and not with so I'm house, I'm no, Job. I would, yeah. I would go with I don't live there. I don't know this man. I am doing my own thing. I'm a little busy being mayor and possibly doing some campaign finance fraud as well. But there is a lot of rumors or conspiracy that Chris, that she did throw her husband under the bus. Like, I mean, that yeah, she, like that's, she's that's the, the one who initiated this. If she doesn't, like, if, if she doesn't win, like, the, the mayoral election, she's definitely going to be, like, working for RTS, because one thing she loves doing is throwing people under the bus. I don't, I don't know if that's what RTS wants. <laughs> no, that's what that's what they do, right? They throw. Oh wait, it's what they, it's what they need. People ride. Yeah, I, it. yeah. <laughs> they should put them out of us. So yeah. All right, RPD is what you were thinking of, Chris. I mean, all of it. All of it. I woke up to the fact that the state board of elections would lie and send documents full of untruths, a document that did not follow the law sent to the DA, a DA who was eager and angry at me for supporting her opponent. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, she's got to say what the document says. Yeah. Like, that. Is this a separate thing that she's talking about now? I have no idea. I don't know what she's talking about. This is like some crazy ass, like, like Trump shit. Like just like <laughs> hopping from subject to subject while not addressing what is actually at hand. Yeah, like all the cocaine. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's the less she says it. It's like she's she's orating like a comment section under a news under a news article because well, it's just a, what's what she's saying. Like, it's a diversion that? tactic. That's all it yeah. is. Is like let me bring up like seven different topics throughout this five minutes so then you kind of forget where this fucking all started you know like so we people by the end of it are like wait what like it's like the cocaine stuff like i don't know it's just diversion tactics that's all she's fucking she's being a politician that's literally all she's doing <laughs> it's just doing mm -hmm. what politicians do i would say too just from like a, a you know an aesthetic thing if you're going to come out as a mayor and you're about to do a press conference about you know, your, your husband and cocaine and stuff like that. Use the podium that doesn't look like a shiny mirror, 
right? <laughs> like, this is a shiny ass podium. Oh, it, yeah, the imagery. It just looks like, you know, is there a, a credit card behind there? <laughs> oh. Man, that shit is glass. That is banana. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep on going. Conspiracy I time. Name for that. I'm kind of mad now. Like, that's our tax fuck? money. That's my tax money. You're the wood podium, like everybody else. Get that shit from IKEA. You can get that shit. I'll make one. God damn it. Now I'm mad. I want my money back. She said that God guided her and helped her figure out how to repair the police department. So, God's. Really? Yeah, it's working. It seems like Satan helped with that. No, it worked, man. The police department is uh, tight. We're good. We're good with that. So, yeah, she goes on. I mean, she's just talking about how this is all about timing. This is like we're three weeks away from early voting, not actual voting, er the early voting starting for uh, the mayoral race for her. And um, she's saying it's a little funky. Um, I don't, do you guys think this is all politically motivated? Um, everything's politically motivated, but like at this point, like your, your husband is a guy, <laughs> is an alleged drug dealer and had both like possibly illegal guns and like 31 and a, a Ziploc bag of cocaine. Like, uh, I'm not like a Ziploc sandwich bag of cocaine, not like a little baggy. Like I can't, I'm, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for her. I just don't feel sorry it, for her. Yeah, I feel, I, I definitely think it's politically motivated. And, but I also unfortunately feel there is going to be a large group of people who look at this and they're definitely going to be on her side. And they're going to be like, okay. this is a smear campaign. They're trying to like, you know, make her look bad. Like this is, they're trying to, you know, people are against her and she's, she's got those people hook, line and sinker. You know, there are just people who are, are just going to believe that this is a smear campaign to try to fuck up her reelection mm -hmm. and she could win. <laughs> and, <laughs> it's a chance. Yeah. and I mean, like, it's, it's not like, like the people who are like, just like hardcore behind her it's almost cultish and like I, I'm not like I'm not surprised like even like the day after this happened she made a post another campaign post and like it was just like a bunch of people in support of her and like I know that's gonna happen but yeah. like I've been disillusioned with the mayor since god forever and I voted for her twice <laughs> like I'm still disillusioned you know so I mean I I don't think maybe this is just me but like I I don't think it is politically motivated because it is if it would be one thing if it was just him I could be like maybe you get on board with that but it it was a raid of seven houses it's a seven month long investigation they they got him in his car and I'm guessing they did that because they heard that there was an exchange going on and that's when they decided to move on him. So I don't think they were like, we need to wait until three weeks before early voting starts so we can take out the mayor. Cause he, and he wasn't the main, you know, he's not the main dude involved. He's just happens to be in this ring with other people. I don't know, man. <clears throat> it's, it's all pretty gnarly. I, I, I still don't think, that this will cause her to lose the election. I still think that she'll get reelected. I really do. I do too. I, I think she will yeah, get reelected as well. I hate to say it, but yeah, I think I think it's gonna happen. Is uh, it possible? She just plays the cards right, man. Is it possible that maybe her husband was hiding the drugs and the guns underneath all of the uh, information about the Daniel Prude case? And that's, she didn't see either one, you know, just, right? No. I don't know. It's really hard to believe that. I was it's just, really, that was a really joke. Hard. That was like a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it's one of those joke things yeah. we do on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, did you guys actually think I you, you, did you, like in your head where you're like, oh, Shane really thinks that there's guns underneath like a pamphlet of information? <laughs> I mean, at uh, this point, it's just anything's possible. Like, this, <laughs> like we live like Rochester's in some sort of pocket dimension where like 
like comedy and horror just like merge into what we have now. It's like, it's like we're practicing to be idiocracy. You got to give it up. Her, are. whoever her opponents are for this mayoral race, like mm. how they've got to be everywhere right now with this. I, I, I can't believe that they, there isn't more from them. They should be on this podcast right now talking about this. Just everywhere. This is like a slam dunk. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll be, I guess we'll see in a, a, a couple months from now and we'll, we'll let you know here on the interlude podcast, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we're going to have to like cover both the primaries and the general election at this point. Like we should just have like a live tweeting of it or something. I think, yeah, we should have the debate on the interlude podcast. I mean, it'll be yeah. seen by as many people as when they do it on TV. Nobody watches it. Nobody yeah. <laughs> <I> cares. <laughs> yeah. I know, wild stuff, man. Let's, uh, I, we don't have much time here left in the podcast, but uh, oh, if oh, we, man. we can try to do a, a quick, what did you, what was the, the most Rochester thing you did this week is like maybe a little palate cleanser. Um, did anybody happen to get caught with a bunch of cocaine and uh, guns on them? Because that would be a really good transition. <laughs> it's a very Rochester thing. No, no. The most Rochester thing I did was call for the mayor's resignation. I've been doing since she like, bulldoze those homeless shelters at one time and then oh, I called yeah. her resignation when she lied about uh arrests at uh, black lives matter protests in 2016 and i called for a resignation last year when she covered up a fucking murder she yeah. covered up a murder and then threw everybody under the bus and i called for a resignation then so again i would like mayor lovely warren to resign I got maybe you gotta stop calling for it. Maybe start texting for the resignation. Maybe I'll text. Yeah. 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 Maybe we gotta get a banner. Do we? We don't have a lot of money at the end of the. Maybe if we get some more Patreon subscribers, <laughs> we can get a get a billboard. <laughs> can we talk to Salino? Would... Talk to Salino people. Maybe give us one of their billboards. They got enough. They do have enough. There's too many, honestly. Michael, what's the most Rochester thing you did this week? I can't think of anything, so I'll just say doing comedy at a Rochester comedy club, telling Rochester jokes. Dude, you got you got hammered at Lux. That's pretty Rochester, man. I didn't go to Lux last night. I got oh, you did the club. No, I never went. I'll probably oh. go tonight, but I was too Shout tired. Out to Lux. Shout out to Lux. Lux. Um, yeah, I'm. I am haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna go to an open mic for the first time in forever. Ooh. At uh, you know, at what is it, John's Tax Max? That's where they're doing that on Sundays. Oh, yeah. I went um, there last Sunday. That was awesome. Was a good. Was a good one. Yeah, no, it was a pretty packed room, dude. Yeah, I'm That's gonna. Great. I'm gonna eat yeah. shit. It's gonna be great. I forgot how to do jokes, so which is made clear by the the joke that really landed on this podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's still the morning. I haven't even had breakfast. That's fair. I only had one cup of coffee. Well, thank yeah. you for giving me your excuses for not laughing at my jokes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm glad that you'll take the blame instead of just saying I'm not funny. That's thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I uh, I hope that everybody will you know subscribe on uh, patreon.com slash interloop support the blog um, because we'll probably get sued by somebody for all the memes that we did this week about the mayor. Um, <laughs> did a lot of I love it. A lot of articles. Uh, this has been, you know, it's one. Of, it's a very weird thing with this blog now, where when something tragic happens in Rochester, I get my phone lights up and is like, "This is the best thing that's ever happened to you." You, yeah. <laughs> you get to do memes, and it's like I would rather just not have the mayor like so fucking weird. That'd be yeah. great. I'd yeah. like it to be more difficult. You know, that's more fun. But here we are, making memes slinging out blogs and anyways um uh, mike well this will go out before yeah this will go out after mike's show so um but dar oh uh, yeah dario and chris have a show coming up chris do you want to plug yeah, next your, tuesday. your show next tuesday it's with le petit poutine uh le petit comedy uh we're gonna be slinging poutine and telling jokes okay wait i it seems exhausting, to be honest with you. 
<laughs> eating eating like a big 31 grams of uh, of gravy <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do it on stage i'm gonna chug it do a, yeah do do a bunch of kilos of uh of gravy yeah it'll be fun no, all right everybody all right. thanks for listening to the Andalou podcast see you guys next week mike chris thank you see ya thank you yeah
I'm just looking for God, all I see is God in drag. And you look at me and you say, you weirdo. I say, oh no, God, you won't get me with that. I see through that one. 